In March 2025, BYD made a groundbreaking announcement as the Chinese automaker revealed a new technology that could shake up the entire electric vehicle industry. Already making waves worldwide, BYD is emerging as a serious competitor to Elon Musk's Tesla, and their latest move has everyone talking, with the buzz centering around BYD's cutting-edge hybrid system set to launch in 2025. Called the fifth-generation DMI, it's a breakthrough that could outshine today's technology and transform the EV market. So what exactly is this engine and how will it shape the future of driving? Simply put, it's BYD's signature hybrid technology, combining both an electric motor and a petrol engine, where for shorter everyday trips, the electric motor takes the lead, keeping things clean and efficient, and for longer drives, or when the battery runs low, the petrol engine kicks in seamlessly. The fifth generation version, launched in May 2024, is BYD's most advanced yet, standing out first through efficiency, as this engine boasts a thermal efficiency of 46.06%, .06%, meaning it squeezes more power out of every drop of fuel than almost any other engine on the planet. By comparison, most engines today operate at just 30 to 40% with the result being less fuel wasted, lower emissions, and major savings for drivers. When running on petrol, the system consumes only 2.9 liters per 100 kilometers, an incredibly low figure. And when you add in the astonishing combined range of up to 2,100 kilometers on a full tank and fully charged battery, you've got a vehicle that can go from New York to Miami and back without stopping once for gas or charging. This is possible thanks to a dedicated 1.5-liter turbocharged engine paired with BYD's renowned blade battery, known for its durability and safety. Combine that with high-performance electric motors and advanced silicon carbide power chips, and the result is a hybrid system that's efficient, powerful, and built for the future. Compared to Toyota's well-regarded hybrid systems, BYD's DMI-5 pushes things further, delivering lower fuel consumption and a longer electric-only range, and no wonder it's becoming a favorite not just in China, but globally, and beyond performance, it's greener, cutting carbon emissions while making sustainable driving more practical. Now, let's talk about how BYD's fifth-generation DMI is shaping the future of electric vehicles the world is racing towards sustainability. And EVs are at the center of this transformation, but for many drivers, going fully electric still feels like a leap, whether it's the fear of running out of charge, high upfront costs, or limited charging stations, and that's where BYD's hybrid system changes the game. With its jaw-dropping 2,100-kilometer range, smart hybrid setup, and affordable price, the DMI makes electrified vehicles accessible to more people than ever before, tackling one of the biggest barriers to EV adoption, range anxiety for drivers in regions with patchy charging infrastructure like parts of Southeast Asia, South America, or rural areas in Europe and Australia, as BYD's hybrid system eliminates that worry completely. The DMI isn't just about going farther, it's about making cleaner driving affordable, since fully electric cars can be expensive, often tens of thousands more than petrol cars. But BYD is flipping that equation, as their hybrids are not only greener, but also cheaper. Take the BYD SEAL 05 DMI, for example. In China, it starts at just $12,250, making it as affordable or even cheaper than many gasoline-powered cars, and this affordability is a big deal, especially when paired with government incentives in places like China and Europe, where subsidies and tax breaks are pushing more people to go green, and by lowering the financial barrier, BYD is making it easier for everyday drivers to join the EV revolution. Hybrids like the DMI serve as the perfect stepping stone between old-school petrol cars and fully electric vehicles. You see, not everyone is ready to go all-in on EVs, whether it's because of cost, charging infrastructure, or simply the comfort of filling up at a gas station. The DMI bridges that gap, offering the efficiency and electric driving experience of an EV with the reassurance of a petrol engine for longer trips. This flexibility is key in regions where charging networks are still developing. 
No surprise then that BYD's hybrids are gaining traction in places like Thailand, Brazil, and Australia, where drivers want greener options but still need practicality. In the U.S., surveys show many drivers actually prefer hybrids over fully electric cars. This trend is pushing companies like Toyota, Hyundai, and BYD to double down on hybrid technology. While Tesla continues to focus only on EVs, hybrids are proving especially popular in regions where charging stations are still limited. BYD's DMI system, found in models like the SEAL 07 and Tang DMI, is raising the bar. These hybrids are fast, stylish, and equipped with advanced features like Urban Navigate on autopilot, which allows for semi-autonomous city driving. Toyota and Hyundai are also rolling out competitive hybrids, and their lower prices are making customers think twice about Tesla's lineup. This growing demand could shift the balance in markets like Asia and Latin America. Global trade also plays a role. In the U.S., high tariffs are keeping Chinese-made cars like BYDs out of the market, which benefits Tesla since it still holds a strong share of EV sales. In Europe, tariffs exist too, but BYD is working around them by building factories locally. At the same time, Tesla's sales in the region have slowed, creating opportunities for other automakers to step in. In China, Tesla's second biggest market, sales dipped in early 2025, while BYD and other local brands gained ground by offering advanced features at more affordable prices. Cars like Xiaomi's SU7 sedan are even emerging as trendy alternatives to Tesla's Model 3. Tesla also faces challenges with its lineup, as the Model Y and Model 3 have not seen major updates in years, while rivals like BYD and Hyundai are rolling out fresh designs, and Tesla's promised affordable EV, codenamed Redwood, isn't expected until mid-2025, leaving competitors more time to expand Tesla's focus on autonomous driving technology such as its robo-taxi project, could also draw attention away from the need for affordable, practical cars that everyday customers want. Looking ahead, Tesla needs to move quickly, as lowering prices could make its cars more competitive, but that comes at the cost of profits. A refreshed Model Y and the launch of the Redwood EV could help, but timing is critical. To regain its competitive edge, Tesla's strategic expansion of its gigafactory operations across Europe, increasing production capacity and localizing its supply chain to circumvent tariffs and reduce delivery times, coupled with a decisive push to develop and offer more genuinely budget-friendly models, could prove instrumental in winning back cost-conscious buyers who are increasingly looking elsewhere. At the same time, in the all-important Chinese market, Tesla may find it necessary to form strategic collaborations with local tech firms. By tapping into their expertise in user interface design, battery management software, and integrated smart features, Tesla could better compete with the advanced, hyper-connected, and rapidly evolving technological ecosystems offered by domestic brands like BYD. The electric vehicle and hybrid market in 2025 is, without a doubt, more fiercely competitive than ever before. It's really a perfect storm, fueled by the convergence of BYD's affordable, long-range hybrids that do away with range anxiety, the steady entrance of traditional automakers who are finally committing serious resources to the EV race, a complex web of international tariffs that's shaping trade flows, and this profound ongoing shift in customer demand toward more practical and flexible electrified solutions. All of these factors are honestly putting immense and sustained pressure on Tesla's once unassailable market position. Still, it's important to recognize that Tesla holds on to some significant advantages. These include a deeply loyal and global fan base, a foundational reputation for strong core technology, especially in battery and powertrain engineering. And of course, that invaluable first mover advantage which made its brand synonymous with electric mobility in the first place. If the company can execute a disciplined and focused strategy, really zeroing in on building truly affordable cars for the mass market and systematically refreshing its aging lineup with the same kind of innovation that originally set it apart,
then it absolutely has the inherent potential to remain a major and influential player in the global automotive landscape. On the other hand, BYD is making a pretty compelling case that for a huge segment of the global population, advanced hybrids might actually be the most pragmatic and necessary bridge to a fully electric future. Whether you're dealing with the stop-and-go traffic of a dense urban center or heading out for a cross-country journey, BYD's DMI system really offers a persuasive mix of exceptional fuel efficiency, staggering overall range, and transformative affordability, qualities that are challenging the very trajectory of the industry. So, as we find ourselves at this technological crossroads, the question we really have to consider is, are advanced, high-efficiency hybrids the real practical future of driving for the coming decade, or are they simply a transitional phase on the inevitable path to pure electrification?